He's not loud, he's not vocal, he's not a yeller, he's not a screamer, but if you were to go talk to the other 13 guys in that locker room, you know, if he does talk, everybody listens. Last year, senior Nate Watson was the Bulldogs leading scorer. This year, he's their senior captain. I'm pretty blessed that I get to play it all when some kids in my same position are have to stay at home. And I mean, they don't have to, but they just, their body doesn't handle it as well as mine. Everything was normal until a lump in his neck changed his life. He was, he was taking some medicine for, for the lump that he had in his neck. They didn't know what it was. Two weeks before his senior season, doctors diagnosed Nate with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I don't even know what was going through my head. I was, I kind of thought that it, it, that might be what was, what it was. You know, we held him and, you know, told him that we were going to be there for him and that, um, you know, we were going to fight this together and, you know, that it would be gone and everything would be fine. All we had to do was just get through the treatments. Every other week, 18-year-old Nate comes to Children's Hospital to fight through a brutal six to eight hour chemotherapy session. The chemo itself makes you very nauseous and causes the hair loss and all those types of things. Basically, I just throw up a lot and then normally by the next day I'm fine. And I think coming out here and playing basketball helps me because I start moving around and doing things like a normal person again instead of just sitting in my bed and thinking about it too much and stuff like that. Yeah, that's right. As he battles through chemo treatments, Watson is fighting to live his life on his terms. His doctor said they kind of referred to him as a freak of nature. And basketball is his game and you know, like I said, it was at exactly the same time. And so even if he couldn't be everything that he was, we still felt it was important that that still be who he was. We didn't want his identity stripped from him. An identity that is showing his family, friends, and teammates just how strong he truly is. I don't know, it's not your best day or anything. You can look and, and look at him and be like, wow, he's still going strong. He's the epitome of tough. He's one of those kids that you say, yeah, I've got no questions about how tough you are. I've, I'm done with four treatments already, so I have eight more and I can't wait until they're over and I'm done with them.